William, your videographer from Two Hats Publishing. Welcome to Restore the Fourth, the Fourth Amendment of the United States Constitution, that is. The demonstration is for personal privacy from government invasion. Let's listen in and find out what it is all about. This is William Dockray from Two Hats Publishing. We're down here at the old red courthouse, or known as now as the Red Museum of Dallas County History and Culture. We're looking here for the Restored Fourth Group, and it's not quite the witching hour of 10 o'clock, but we're looking for anybody who has decided to show up and protest. Okay, so today is Restore the Fourth, um, the, the 1984 day. Uh, this is a day that's actually, it's not just limited to Restore the Fourth. There are other groups uh, across the country that are demonstrating in the same way. Um, basically, we're out here today to tell America that we're not content and we're not complicit to stand with a police state um, or with a surveillance state that is actually beginning to resemble what we believe is um, kind of the point of 19, uh, George Orwell's 1984. Uh, which is that once you, you know, beyond uh, any other forms of physical control, once you control people's minds, you kind of, you can control the society. And uh, we believe that the current invasions on privacy that we believe are being perpetrated by the National Security Agency are part of that. And um, we believe that the, um, this invasion of privacy is something that is um, kind, of, kind of approaching that sort of thing. Is William from Two Eyes Publishing. It is now officially 10 o'clock and the protest has begun. And we actually have a small gathering. So let's see what's going on. Everybody that's been listening to that, please help. You guys can help, kind of, to okay. you know, enforce that as much as we can. And, and if they if they, if they give us trouble, then you know you feel free to cart them away. Yeah. You know that's. Your name is. Sergeant Hall. Sergeant Hall. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. Well, yeah, I'll be joining. I'll be out here. You're the guy to call if you're on the street protest. Huh? You're the guy to call. If yes. You're yeah. Yeah. If I can't get out here, I'll get one of my detectives to come out here and monitor. We'll get it organized. We had this woman for a long time. Uh, Liz, I call her. Yeah. yeah. She works for me. She's out sick. So that's why I'm out here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, she works for me. So yeah, keep getting in touch with Liz. You know, yeah, just keep getting in touch with Liz whenever you need something. Listen, yeah. Nothing's changed, you know. Sure. You know, we're going to protect your rights as well as the, the others, you know, yes, rights and stuff like that. Thank just you. make sure we have a piece of protest. Yes, sir. That's, that's, that's it. That's the name of the game. We've, okay. uh, we've had one more at Clive Moore Park. July 4th and it went really well. Oh, okay, everybody, yeah. everybody was yeah. behaved and nice and we yeah. didn't we didn't have too many issues. I mean right, yeah. we had some guys passing out some stuff like on the park property and we told them to stop, you know, yeah. but okay. that's too big. Okay. Alright, good okay, thing I can do for you guys. This is my sale. I keep that with me 24 hours a day. Give me a call or whatever, but anytime you're getting ready to organize any other protest, just continue to reach out to Leeds. Excellent. Okay. You don't mind. All right, you can't get in touch with her then you catch me. Okay. okay. Thank you. All right, guys. Okay. Thank you. Can I borrow that card a second? Sure. The documentation that he talked to us. Yeah. 
scares me. And so the police come out and say, so we're going to make you leave. He said, well, you know, it's 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 open carry. You know, It's an open carry state. Right. The, the fact that someone is, you know, he says, I'm in, you're infringing on someone else's rights. It has to be a reasonable infringement. You just can't just say, well, I'm scared. And so they, none of those people can do anything that they're doing. There's a difference between right. infringing upon a ride and making someone uncomfortable. Right. Yeah. And the fact that they're uncomfortable because they're ignorant is not really my problem. Right. I understand that, yeah. And, I mean, hopefully we won't run into that today, but, you know, I... Well, I doubt it. I mean, because all we're doing is just... It's not like we were doing yesterday. We are trying to, you know, educate people and inform them. But uh, there were folks, my wife overheard one of the Western, you know, re recreator guys, you know, down at the, the stockyards with his... You know, he's got his 45 long colt on his hip with blanks, and he was... She overheard him mumbling, you know, well, they're, they're just trying to intimidate people carrying their long guns. Well, no, we weren't trying to intimidate people. We were trying to educate people that it's legal to do that. You know, you, all all black guns are not evil. You know? Right. I mean, you can't you can't protect one of our civil rights without protecting all of them. They're yeah. all they're not any of them that are unimportant. People don't have a right to people don't really have a right against annoyance. Of and being the, annoyed. the Fourth Amendment thing, you know, you can you can try and a lawyer can sit there and try and parse it down, but the the founders put and effects. And effects to me means. And all that other stuff, you know, your yeah. stuff is your stuff. Basically you know, you here, should have. Sure. The, 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 the Supreme Court has ruled that we don't have a reasonable right to privacy. Here in Dallas, you know, Verizon's I, trying to, you know, poach on our right to privacy in your bedroom. That's it. They were they were trying to get permission so, to monitor what you how you're reacting to your television program. And the state they have it, don't have it yet, but. <laughs> Hey, the, if, if big corporations are in cahoots with uh, NSA and the FBI and the CIA, how long do you think that's going to last? Not long. Man, I don't know. I, the way I see it is they're going to keep trying this, you know. They're going to keep trying and keep trying. And keep, what I, what I, my personal, my personal um, involvement in this is to get to a point where we can develop the technology to, to have a secure and private internet that's just inherently technologically secure that no government can shut down. Yeah. But it's not quite there yet. And... And we need a, we need at least a few more years with a, something that's not a surveillance state, so that we can get to that point. You know. Yeah. There can't be a public nuisance. Yeah. But, uh, that's what I'm. That's that's why that's what I'm in it for. Because I'm I'm not under the. You know, I'm not convinced that that once we fix this, if we do fix it, that it's going to be a permanent fix. No. They're going to keep trying. No, it's, they're going to perpetually keep trying. So governments are about power and control. Yeah. And about which is exercised through theft and theft and force. Sure. One, two, three. Give me a second. I, I want to. Yeah, sorry. I, I should also tell you. Uh, I mean, are you are, are you here to document or to participate or to document? To document. Okay. Um, and for whom? To us, publishing. Yeah. Okay. And from K N O N. So they got okay. here. And they, you know, they just came over and gave her a lot of people that are. Um, we have another guy, John, Dallas one of the other organizers. Dallas He's going to be here in a little bit uh, with with Probably bottled water, uh, sun uh, sunscreen, fine. stuff to make There's signs. A, uh, all that you should be here pretty here soon. Great. Citizens um, Alliance. So it has run, it has run the city. Yeah. Our Dallas finest is making sure we stay nice and safe. And um, I'm all for being nice and safe. So um, that sounds great to me.
Mark and Gordon. See, mine don't have like a whole lot of Okay, next one. Let's take a look around this early Sunday morning. Uh, we're looking due south at the moment. Sun glare give me a little trouble. There's a arena ball out there. <coughs> Union Arena. Let's take a shot of one bar. Founding Fathers here. Dealey Plaza. Go west, young man, go west. We're looking north and we can see some of our nice tall structures in the distance here through the um, Dallas Haze, aka smog. And across the way, we're looking at the old Dallas Criminal Court building. Last time, you know, the last time we couldn't find anybody for the first half hour. Yeah. And then they slowly, surely started coming in. Well, you gonna have any of these uh, young people uh, on your uh, show to, at uh, Candlewind? Any of these people? Yeah. Well, I had Michael Wigington what three weeks ago. You know, he was from this group. I had him right after their July Fourth action. Okay. So I'll have them sooner or later if they keep it going. But I don't think they'll keep it going. What do you think? Uh, you know, I mean, I can't give you call this thing at 10 o'clock in the morning on a Sunday. Yeah. Well, at least they picked the shady spot. Yeah. So, we shall see. Right. One good thing about us is this is largely a student group. And uh, we always are trying to get some kind of student movement started in, in the Dallas the area. They're like, oh, I'm ovulating. You know, <laughs> one day I, I they, they come here from Arlington or they come from Denton, mostly from Denton. But uh, uh, we've never had an indigenous student movement here, uh, except, for those, except for those high school students in 2006. Wow. And they never really got together. They never, never became an organization or anything. We see a sign. Yeah, that's nice. Not my sign. Well, it's a good one. Really? Honk yeah. if you love your privacy. Nobody's honking so far, though. Well, it's too small. I know. They can't read it in time. Let's see what you got. I'll there. tell you something else. If you want, if you want to get people to honk, first of all, you got to have a sign, a big sign that says honk. But then you have to work it. You know, you have to. Yeah, you have to wave at people and you have to stick your sign out. Uh, and the car, when trucks go by, you have to do this. Mm -hmm. You know, when cars go by, you do this. Mm -hmm. There's probably not going to be that much action today because it's not that much traffic. I know. Sunday you know, somebody, like, morning. Let's say you're in that white car there and you want to honk. There's three policemen right uh, over there. Huh? There's four policemen right over there. So. 
They're intimidated. Come and join us! Come and join us! Come and join us! Come and join us! We're standing up for the Constitution against government spying. videographer for two hats publishing i hope you enjoyed this video if not please leave comments to the effect below and like us or follow us and get notices of all our videos <laughs>